Hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BUU Gaming and today we are back in Watch Over Christmas. So we found the last symbol right at the end of the last, vi uh, the last video. So let's check this out. I have found all four symbols. Now let's see if I can get it open. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so that has to be the one with the... Uh, that was a bit too fast there. This one. Mm, which one is it? That is the... Mm, was it this one? Or... Uh, it has the line under it. Let's just have... Or was it the one with the... I think it was the one with the line underneath. Maybe this one. And there we go, we have the snowflake. That kind of looked like a present, so I think that was it, actually. Yeah, the other ones don't look right. So, get back to it. I think it was this one. Uh, does it then just reset? Okay, I guess maybe I was wrong. I think it might be this one. That isn't quite right. Oh, there we go. It was this one with the line. Okay. Click. Hey, I think I solved it. Let's see what's inside. All it contained was a lump of coal. It doesn't look ordinary, though. Oh, I got an achievement. Cryptex decrypted. What am I supposed to do with this coal? I'd better go and ask Dad. After all, he's the one who bought it last year. But we had to burn it, didn't we? Dad, what is this wooden box? Where did you find it? In the attic, along with all the other junk. Yes, now I remember. I bought it last Christmas from a weird antique shop as a present. The guy who owns the store told me some strange things about it. Something like it's unique and magical and a portal, I think. He insisted that I should only open it at Christmas. I believe he was trying to talk me into buying it. And he did. Why are you asking? Because I opened it and all it had inside was a vague letter and a lump of coal. Really? Nice, at least you opened it at Christmas. I wish I knew what to do with it. I don't know. Burn it, put it back, throw it away. Dad. Right, sorry. Consider it an adventure. You can do whatever you want. However, one last thing that guy told me is that if I didn't open it last Christmas, I should pass it on to another family with a kid in middle school. Uh, childhood or adolescence. That's strange. Oh, the first part of the Guilty's concert is over. Right now we'll continue with our regular TV program. Don't forget to check back in an hour or so for the second part. That band rocks. I can't wait for the second part. Until then, I'd better get back to my room. Ah, okay, so now she's gonna leave and then we can actually go back in there. But this I did remember though, that we had to burn the coal and then we had to... Uh, I don't remember what was supposed to happen then, but we would uh, be able to do something with Cosmos, right? I've forgotten, I've forgotten. Should we just remind ourselves what it said? Uh, do, 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 do. Was that not the one that would said it? Um, Yes, once you do, burn the contents and find a lifeless toy so that the glow may possess it and visit your world. Yes, okay, so it didn't really say what would happen other than the glow would possess it, of course. But I couldn't remember if it said some to do something with the fire. Um, okay, but now we have glowing embers. That's one way to rekindle the fire. It's also a way to burn every hair on my head. I think I'll pass. <laughs> Okay, well, we have the coal, so let's put it in there. I have to somehow make a fire to burn it. Uh, okay, so we don't want to put that in first. Then I guess we'll just take some of these. And put that in there. Let's see if I can rekindle the fire. Oh dear, fireworks. Hmm, nothing happened. Maybe I need some tinder. Okay, if you heard the noise in the background, that was just the fireworks outside, but I think it's over now. 
Um, okay, so we needed some Tinder for this. Uh, do, 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 do. What is What does Tinder technically mean? Tinder is like small pieces of... Small pieces of... Um, or is Tinder more like... More like if you have a um, some matches or something? Or is it just the small pieces? I often hear that word in games, but right now it, my memory is failing me because it's not really a word we would use in English or in Danish, of course. So, Tinder, Tinder, Tinder. Mm. Okay, let's try with this. I know it's a sin to waste such a rare and expensive whiskey, but this will do the trick. Just remembered we had that. Oh boy. <laughs> you wouldn't want didn't want to blow on it, but you would pour alcohol in on it. Um okay. There's something magical or mystical about watching the flames. Okay, so here we go. Alright, let's put an end to this weird night. I hope that strange glow will disappear so I can go back to bed and wake up for Christmas. It just turned blue. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess that's it. Back to my bed. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what was that? Oh, no, not again. Wait a minute. Cosmos is glowing. Cosmos? Not really. You are talking. Look at that. You're levitating. You're glowing. You... You look stunned. <laughs> oh, I got another achievement. Cosmos is alive. Of course I look stunned. You're a floating teddy bear who talks. Sounds creepy, but you still look cute though. Oh, thank you. You're a charming young boy. I believe I chose well. Who are you? Well, I think you mean what I am. What are you? I'm the Christmas spirit. However, you may call me Cosmos, just like your beloved teddy bear. What happened to Cosmos? Do not worry. I just needed a vessel to possess. Oh boy, that sounds evil. On the contrary, where I come from, spirits tend to do this. If the situation requires it, we, pa we possess lifeless things in order to be able to visit your world. Nevertheless, we would never dwell in a body with a soul, my dear Cisco. That's what demons do. Hey, you know my name. Of course, I'm the Christmas spirit. I know every kid's name. You've already said that. How is that even possible? People believe that the Christmas spirit is just a concept. That's half the truth. The other half is that I'm a supernatural being, an actual spirit. Whoa, that's mind-blowing. I'm responsible for the mood during this holiday period. For all the hope, giving, good cheer and love. Everything that Christmas stands for. Ah, <sighs> And I hope it will remain alive for the future to come. You seem worried. Indeed, that's why I'm visiting your world. How did you even manage to pass through to our world? Do you remember all the glowing cues that you followed? That was you? Yes, I guided you so that you would be able to open the cryptex and burn that magical co coal. The blue fire allowed me to transit. Is there anything I can do to help? I sure hope so, since I chose you among all the kids in the world. My dear Cisco, get ready for a remarkable adventure. You must save Christmas. That sounds familiar. Was that you on the radio? As a matter of fact, it was. Everything sounds weird. What do you mean, save Christmas? Hold on tight, my boy. Santa has been kidnapped. What? As you know, it's already the night before Christmas, and with Santa missing, kids won't get their presents. That may signify the end of anything Christmassy. That's terrible! Who would do such a thing? 
I really can't be sure. That's something for you to find out, Cisco. But I can tell you whose help you're going to need. Yours? Sure, I'm going to be your sidekick through this adventure. But I'm referring to an ancient witch, one of Santa's oldest allies, the all-knowing La Bef Befana. So why me? It wasn't exactly a choice. For some random reason, that strange wooden box ended up in your hands. It could have ended up with any other kit. So it was just a matter of luck? Maybe, maybe not. Huh? I mean, everything happens for a reason, right? I think that a certain chain of events led to that box being in your hands, but it was your kind soul along with your love of Christmas that made you, you not want to pass it on. Honestly, it was just my dad who couldn't be bothered to pass it on. Instead, he just threw it in the attic along with all the other useless stuff. I see. In any case, you've been chosen. Oh boy, all this sounds too much. I wouldn't know what to do. I have faith in you, Cisco. I also understand. So here's the short version. Santa has been kidnapped and the essence of Christmas is at stake. But fear not, because I, the Christmas spirit, will be your companion throughout your quest to save Santa and restore good cheer to this time of the year. For reasons of intimacy, you better call me Cosmos, and I strongly recommend as our next step to go and find La Bifana. She will be able to tell us who has done this and how to rescue Santa. And how am I supposed to find her? Don't worry, I'll take, take us there. Oh, meanwhile. Omnipotent Labifana, O oh ancient one, hear my invocation. O oh bringer of ashes and coal, upon the dark beneath the full moon, this magic night of the year it's time my old roots to prune. I seek forecast of the new from an all-knowing such as you. Okay. Oh, can we control? Oh. <laughs> okay, then we pop back again. Oh, there's that present, but I don't think we can go it. Where are we going? Uh, you ask too many questions, Cisco. Prepare yourself for our journey begins. It's time only for answers. Shouldn't we look for transportation or something? Well, defying gravity gives me the ability of flying. And if I can fly, then so can you. Ooh. Oh, but I still didn't get a chance to get that present, so I guess we'll get back there. Because if I try to click it while the conversations are going on, it only progresses the conversations. This is so, so thrilling, I'm actually flying. <laughs> it tickles a bit, but still the best feeling ever. Woohoo! Hold your breath, Cisco. We're not there yet. Oh, wow. Okay. So here we are. You'll be able to find La Befana somewhere around here. What is this place? It's the Yule Forest. One of the oldest wildwoods related to Christmas. In ancient times, spirits gathered here in a secret council to protect their festivals from the evil ones. Over time, this tradition was lost. Nowadays, people come together to this forest to celebrate organizing fun fairs. They usually last for 12 nights. I believe there's a fair for La Bifana near here, so it won't be that hard to track her down. To be honest, it gives me the creeps, and that story of yours didn't help, actually. There's no time for hesitation, Cisco. If the evil is the one I think it is, then it won't be that easy to release Santa. The night won't last for long, you must act. Oh boy. Oh, chapter 2! So we completed the first chapter. Cool. Uh, okay, well... As kind of a stick over here. Looks like someone has left it there. Let's grab it. That can only be helpful. Yep. Okay, so we can go this way, but I think maybe we should check out... Well, I don't know if we can go back. Let's see what's over here before we... Okay, the path kind of continues, so let's go back. 
and check this out before we go anywhere. I just wanted to see if this was like a little corner thing and then you go in there, but no. Okay, so nothing else here. Oh, a witch hat. Whoa, a witch's hat carved out of stone. It stands like an emblem above the arched entrance. Ew, cool. I uh, don't really see anything else here. No presents, anything hiding, right? I probably already missed a bunch. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Great prizes, magic potions and el elixirs. Oh, Lazarus. Labifana, come and meet. Okay, it looks like we need to go that way. Let's uh, let's check. The hunt latest issue, all the tricks about hunting. Just in case I have to hunt anything. Oh. Okay. Uh, the hunt latest issue, there is an interesting article with the following title. How not to be detected by your prey. Boil some water, add pine needles and a few drops of cooking oil. Stir well, afterwards, afterwards pour it into a container and spray yourself. That's an interesting tip. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I'm just trying to see if I can spot any presents. Um before we get too caught up in everything else, but right off the bat, I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Mm, there's something there, but it doesn't really look like a present. Oh, we can actually go through there. Oh, wow. I'm so going to get lost here. I'm so going to get lost in this place. Interesting. Okay. Well, we have a bell, a candle bell used to call attention. It reads info. I believe if I need any information, that's where I should go. Uh, okay. There's a shady figure behind it resting on a chair. Okay, well, let's ring the bell. Hello, is anyone in there? Hey kid, how may I help you? Mm, who are you? I'm the guy providing information about the fun fair. That's great. Did I wake you up? I'm not allowed to say yes. <laughs> what is this place? Well, it's a seasonal festival that happens every year in honor of La Bifana. People from all over the world come to attend the festivities. I've never heard of it before. Sounds interesting. Sure. Do you know where I can find La Bifana? I see. Another adventurer. Just follow the signs. Uh, okay. Well, I already no noticed the signs over here. Uh, so we have another sign. It reads a great prices. Now that's interesting. I should definitely give it a, a try. Okay. Anything else here? That, well, there are these signs, right? But okay. Let's talk to Phoebe. Excuse me. Welcome, kids. Well, we already know what this place is, so what is the great price? An extraordinary souvenir from the birthplace of La Bifana. Sounds like a must-have. How do I win the great price? You'll have to play a game and win. Are you up for this challenge? I was born ready. Easy kid, don't get overexcited. Let's find out. Do you have any tokens? Mm, unfortunately, I do not. I'm sorry to hear that, but without tokens, you can't play. That's a shame. Any idea of how I can acquire some? Try asking at the information booth. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, we already asked about La Bifana, which also seems to be in there, right? I really like your hair. You're so kind. I appreciate it. Your hair is remarkable, too. I know, right? Puffy hair is astonishing. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go over here and see if we can figure out how to get some tokens. May I have some tokens, sir? I'm sorry, kid. They're all gone for today. Come back tomorrow. But I really need them tonight. As I said, there's nothing I can do. 
Um, it's really important. I'm on a quest to save Christmas. Is that so? In that case, please do tell me more. Yes, Santa has been kidnapped and the Christmas spirit is helping me to find him and release him. Let me guess, or else you won't get any presents in the morning. Right, but not just me, every kid in the world. You made my night, kid. I love people with a snappy imagination. And for that, I'll give you a hint for getting those tokens. You see, today there were a lot of people attending the fun fair, and almost every single one of them used that fortune teller machine over there. I don't see how that's helpful. You'll thank me later. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's 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 uh, let's le leave that for now. There were some other options where we could kind of ask for it, but let's let's not do that right now. Mm, the fire is out. I believe the ceremony is over. Although they seem to keep the embers lit, probably to celebrate more later. Hmm. Okay. Well, this would be the fortune telling machine, right? It's a fortune teller machine. It, the witch automation or automaton gives out a card with a prediction of the reader's f future after receiving a token. So cool. Maybe I should use it to see if I'll be able to accomplish my adventure or not. Well, we need the tokens, right? Mm, well, we can't really use it. You don't talk to automatons. You just let them do what they're designed to do indeed. Okay, there's a panel. It holds the tokens used to operate the machine. I can't. It's locked. Hmm. There are two screws on the left side that keep it attached to the fortune teller machine. Yeah, I had a feeling we would have to do something, but I'm kind of... Wouldn't they get upset if we start messing with that? I don't know. We kind of need a screwdriver, right? But let's just try and see if... This won't help me break into the panel. I need something... Thin to tweak the latch bolt. Uh, okay, is this thin and not enough? It doesn't look like it, does it? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, well, let's look around a little bit more then. Hmm. Look at all these potions. Oh boy, the things you can achieve. Uh, I don't think he's gonna approve of that. Hey kid, you're not allowed to take any. Really? Why is that? You have to be over 18. Most of this stuff is really dangerous. Darn it. Hmm. Oh, there's a spray bottle. That doesn't look like a potion bottle. Uh, where was it there was something about spraying? That was in the magazine, right? Mm hmm. Hey kid, you're not allowed to take any. Uh, okay, then he says, but it's only an empty spray bottle. Oh, fine then. Go ahead and take it. I don't want anything here except my merchandise. Okay, so now we have the spray bottle. Aha. I've forgotten what exactly it was it said with the magazine, but it definitely said something about spraying. So now we have that. We're probably going to need what we were told in there. Hmm. It reads magic potions and elixirs. It, I feel so whimsical. <laughs> Hello. Greetings. I'm Lazarus. What are you selling? Isn't it obvious? Magic potions and elixirs. Impressive. What do they do? Well, most of them are for magical purposes, while others are medicinal. And just a few of them are poisonous. But let this remain between us. Sounds like some of them might be useful for my adventure. How old are you, kid? Twelve. Sorry, young one. I'm not allowed to sell you any unless you're over 18 or you have the consent of an adult. Hmm. Do you, any of them make you disappear? The ability of disappearance always seemed extraordinary to me. Funny that you mention it, kid. A potion like that is missing from my inventory. Really? Why is that? Because to make such a potion, I need a unique flower with magical abilities. And that flower thrives only beyond the enchanted forest, somewhere near the cabin of the so-called old man. Which is difficult for me to acquire for to two reasons. Firstly, because I can't leave my post. And secondly, for the reason that I can't find my way through the forest. 
That's frustrating. It is, unless you're up for an errand. I have to say it sounds tempting, but I'm in a hurry. You see, I have my own mission. Got it. Uh, then we only got, got it. That felt like a little bit weird. That we just said that we are kind of in a hurry, so we don't have time to help him and then... Whoop, no, okay. Um, hmm. Your mustache is so weird. It's a personality trait. It took me quite a time to grow it to this length. I wish I could grow a mustache like that. Wait for pu puberty, kids. Then the possible styles will be endless. <laughs> nice talking to you. Uh, okay, so we probably want to try and get that invisibility potion somehow, but mm, I feel like I have a lot of details I'm getting, but um, it is going to be hard to remember all of it, right? But at least these two seem to be something we're going to need together. Maybe we're going to have to go through the enchanted forest then. Oh, there's another package right there. New present found. Awesome. Okay, so we have a carousel. It has a unique theme with reindeer and witches instead of horses. That's unique indeed. Very cool. Okay, we can only look at it. Hmm. Okay. La uh, to La Bifana Tent. Okay, so that would be that way. And we have a well over here. Could it be a wishing well? Hmm. Well, we can't throw any coins in it. Not that we have any, I don't think. Uh, doesn't look like we can go behind there. Okay, we have a candy wagon. Full with colorful candies. After a long and exhausting day, enjoying a candy could be so uplifting. Colors and fragrances can sugarcoat all concerns. <laughs> Very true. Okay. We would have to buy it though, I think, from a uh, Coco Whipple. I have a candy machine over here as well. That's where the real magic happens, a candy making machine. Hmm. That would be awesome, but I don't know how to operate it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, but we are kind of out of time, so we're gonna have to continue with this next time and talk to Coco Whipple then, and then see if we can find La Befana. And then I'm gonna have to try and remember all these little details about the invisibility potions and some spraying in this book and whatever else we have been told. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this so far. It's a lot of fun and it's very, very cute. It is really, really cute. A really cute game, and uh, that really brings back memories of of. Christmas as a kid, right? So anyway, thank you for watching guys and as always, do take care and happy gaming!